Let's talk about a few nice features of NetBeans and how to organize your code using keyboard shortcuts. Everything we're gonna do is right up here in the source menu and it's in the upper half. So I talked about how to format Alt-Shift-F and when you format, usually you wanna format your entire program. So you want to highlight everything and in the edit menu, select all is control A. You're also gonna see cut, copy, paste right here, super useful. We're actually not gonna be using those in this video. Undo and redo, also super useful. So let's go ahead and select all, control A. And now I'm gonna format Alt, Shift, F. You wanna use your left hand for these if you can, your left thumb, your left pinky finger, and your left index finger. Alt, Shift, F. Puts everything nicely in line. Now we have another issue, these things are out of order. Oh. And apparently, that should be a 4-4. Four, four. All right, so I want to put these in order nicely. And I want to move basically this line 9 and line 10. I want to move these lines up. So how we do that under Source is move up, Alt-Shift-Up. So I'm going to be using that keyboard shortcut, Alt-Shift-Up. And of course, there's Alt-Shift-Down if you need that. So with the cursor anywhere on line 10, I'm going to do alt shift and that's with my left thumb, left pinky, and then the up arrow. And I'll go down, up, 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 down, so you can see this one kind of dancing around. You can, of course, move it way out of the block, which would not be good. It won't run this way. Uh, let's go ahead and put it up near the top. So I want to take this line right here, this line three and four, need to be below line two. I could, of course, shift up Line two, I'll shift up a couple times. I'll put it back down here. You can shift multiple lines uh, as to exactly how much you have to highlight. You could highlight the entire line or you could highlight uh, most of the text on the line. And if you're ever curious, well, I wonder what happens if I only highlight the S on the second line. Well, here we go. Alt shift and I'm pushing down and that shifted three and the four down, uh, which is exactly what I wanted. So now it goes one, two, three, four. I put them in order. So that's how to shift around your code. You can, of course, highlight, cut, move the cursor, paste. That is another way to reorder code if you have a lot of free time on your hands. Uh, but I don't recommend doing that. If you need to shift lines, you should be using the Alt Shift Up, Alt Shift Down. So next thing we're going to do is duplicating code which is very similar, is that this control shift up, control shift down. So let's see what happens. Anywhere on this line 10, I'll put the cursor and I'm doing control shift down. It duplicates down below. And this lets you modify a little bit. So we got a five down here. Uh, let's go ahead and put a zero above the one because everything computer science starts with zero. So I'm gonna do control shift up. We'll duplicate it above zero zero all right now we want to duplicate several lines no problem highlight three of them control shift down all right, you can go ahead five six seven eight six seven eight ah the n all right i can spell all right, so there you go. And maybe I want to duplicate the first line, control shift down, and then I want to move this to the bottom, alt shift down, and then goodbye. All right, so that's a way to duplicate, move lines around really, really quickly. I strongly recommend that you uh, spend some time looking at the source, move up, move down, duplicate up, duplicate down. We're gonna look at the toggle comment, control slash, so you can put the cursor on any line you want and control slash it's near on my keyboard near the right shift and that will turn a comment a line into a comment if you don't want it to you want to skip three and six no problem and if you come back later you can of course go way over here and hit delete you also can do anywhere on the line control slash it comments and uncomments lines and you can do it to several lines at one time now you'll see line 13 uh, got commented second time. So you can toggle that if you want with another control slash and maybe I wanna put those back to normal and just skip seven. 
All right, so these keyboard shortcuts should help you uh, do things much more quickly. And so let me, if I wanted to duplicate the entire method, control shift down. And now I have a second. Of course, you're not allowed to have two methods of the same name. So I'll just, nope, or to put that two right there. So now I have two separate methods that are exactly the same. And then I can edit this one uh, with however I wanted to do it.